On Tuesday afternoon, Pickering Fire Services put three new probationary firefighter recruits to the test. The recruits took part in hands-on auto extrication training to learn how to safely and efficiently operate the jaws of life. Today we've been doing auto extrication evolutions, so basically different scenarios, cars that are on four wheels on their side and on the roofs, um, being able to uh, protect the patient, being able to um, extricate, um, take off the doors based on each, uh, each situation and evolution and doing it quickly, rapidly and safely. Firefighter recruits and members of the media got a first-hand experience of what it takes to save a life in a major auto collision. We do this about twice a year. Uh, we do the recruits with uh, training officer Jason Yoshida. He does a full week with them in this, in this program, teaching them safety and different extrication techniques and new tools and innovations in the way we do things. It is vital to know how to push, pull, cut and spread a mangled car using this critical life-saving hydraulic rescue equipment. Leanna McLean with Metroland Media Group and I'm here with uh, Daryl who's a recruit here. I'm about to cut um, the A post of this vehicle with the cutter here. Here we go. Well, the first step is uh, stabilizing the scene, uh, making sure that us, that the emergency workers working on the scene are safe. Uh, the next step is uh, mobilizing the vehicle, making sure that the vehicle is not going to be moving, moving around uh, because the patient inside, we don't want them moving around anymore. And the last step is extrication and removing the patient safely. There's going to be a lot of hands in there. Uh, you're going to have the firefighters along working side by side with paramedics. So it's really important to know where, where to position yourself. Uh, ultimately, we want to make sure that the patient comes out quickly and not harmed on that process. They're excited to get into handling the tools and, and ripping things apart, but they are nervous on how they do it and until we get them familiar with the tools and teach them what the tools can do and what they can do with the tools and they become familiar with them and then they get a little bit more at ease. Everybody needs to be focused 100% on the job and what they're doing. Not everybody has the same task or job to perform, that's why everybody cross trains in all the techniques and all the tools that we have. We've been called upon this year 683 times to go to auto accidents and in several of those occasions we've had some uh, very difficult extrications. It's very essential because we start, we start on the trucks next week so um, when we go on the trucks we're, we're expected to know everything and so having this hands-on training uh, which, is, which is amazing, they've done a fantastic job uh, training us, uh, we're, we're able to go in 100% confident uh, in, in our skills and knowing that the other firefighters on our trucks are 100% confident in our skills as well. They prepared us um, above and beyond what, uh, what, what I expected to be prepared for. And I can't wait to start and serve, serve the public. This is Leanna McLean reporting with Metroland Media Group.